Welcome to lesson number 14. In this lesson, we shall learn about some of the virtues and actions of Metatron, as described through the 76 names given to him in the Book of Desire. Let's read a simple paragraph that explains one of the names of Metatron and find out what it teaches us about him. Here is a paragraph from the Book of Desire that explains the 41st name, Asasya. In simple translation, it reads, Asasya, in Gematria, Kol, which is sound in Hebrew, as he is above the sacred beasts, and the beasts sing in pleasant voice. As was stated in Ezekiel 1.24, it sounded like the roar of the sea, like the noise of a huge army, like the voice of the Almighty God. And I'm going to give you a few more seconds to read the rest. As you can see, the meanings of the Hebrew names provide hints on the essence of Metatron. Here are some of the virtues and actions of Metatron as we learn from the interpretations of his names. He governs all the servants of heaven and the guardian angels and stands above them. His name is engraved in the throne of honor. He is the minister of the Torah and wisdom. Thus, the whole burden of the world falls on him, and he carries the weight of the world. He conducts the camps of the angels who gather behind the curtain and sing praises to the Creator. The curtain is a sheet of fire hanging in front of the throne of honor, which no angel is allowed to cross. According to his command, angels come and go. Metatron resides in the upper realm by the throne of honor. He has permission to enter and show himself before the throne of honor. For the future to come, the Creator will resurrect the dead with the dew of revival, and Metatron is in charge of the dew of revival. When the Creator chooses a prophet and inspires his presence on him, Metatron brightens his face with the radiance of the Shekhinah, and makes it shine like the sun. When a message arrives to the prophet, Metatron sends him an echo to arouse his voice. The minister of the interior hears the prayers of the children of Israel and delivers them to the throne of honor. Metatron is the high priest anointed with the oil that originate in the sweat of the sacred beasts, which are the uppermost degree of angels. Metatron is sent to those who need reinforcement. The head of Metatron reaches up to the throne of honor, and his feet go down to the abyss. He is the one who descended with God to Mount Sinai when Moses was there writing the Torah, and fed Moses for forty days and nights from the divine light, because Moses did not eat or drink for forty days. When Moses ascended to heaven at the time of his death, Metatron set up a ladder of fog for him. Metatron is in charge of the rains and the winds, and he commands them to act according to the will of God, 
to blow the wind and bring down the rain. When a righteous person passes away from the world, Metatron accompanies him to heaven, dresses him with a golden crown, spreads a canopy over him, arranges a table with perfumes and oils, and lights candles in front of him from the glory of the divine. He teaches children and infants who died prematurely and ascended to heaven. Metatron also teaches the babies in the womb and lights the candle of wisdom on their heads. The age of Hanoch ben Yared was 365 years, as the number of the days in the year, and as the number of windows in the sky. And every day the sun rises from one window, and Metatron rules over it. When he speaks, thousands of flames come out of him. When man swears Metatron, it is considered as if he had sworn all the angels. But, needless to say, this is allowed only for righteous, pure people who are acting out of unconditional love. This is only a partial list of the endless functions of Metatron. In the next lesson, we shall talk about what is required of us if we want to engage in his names and activate them. So, thank you for being with me, and I'll see you in the next lesson.